Okay. Uh, right, so we're sort of starting Doom Raid here, but we're, we're gonna have to clean up this mess. I was hoping to get like a full starting node, but uh, I guess that's not happening, which is interesting because that means I'm gonna have to conserve my cooldowns a bit better because it's like partially cl cleared. I was hoping to get this this from start to finish, this particular node, because the mutant and the bio boss nodes, uh, the mutant and bio nodes, I think, are some of the ones that people have the most difficulty with. So unfortunately, this is not getting it from scratch. This part here with the red guardian on spawn taunt, and looks like there's a magneto as well. So this is a bit annoying here. Uh, I don't know if magneto is used as cooldowns, so that'll be important to figure out. But we're going to use that. And use that. We got most slows. We didn't land a slow on that toad. Binary was cleared, it looks like. Offense down. Landed on some of them. We got a toad blind, though. Let's kill Magneto. Just in case. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, that's not fun. Beast really needs to get around to his special, but I feel like he's kind of the furthest behind on the turn bar there. Uh, that's not unavoidable, so I'm going to have to waste that turn. Oh, actually, there we go. Okay, there we go. There's the blind. We're back. We're back into it. Yeah, Magneto's not fun there. And, and that actually causes a problem, as you guys I'm sure are well aware here, uh, that dragging my characters together puts me at uh, a problem with Bishop here. With all the AoE da- or not the AoE, the adjacent damage. Not fun, because now it's going to hit most of my characters here, like that. I don't like that. Die. Die. Four characters. I need to save my cooldowns. So I need to recover my energy back. So I'm going to try and just basic this, because uh, Iceman is pretty far behind there. I think he needs like two more turns. So we're going to need to... Oh, shit. I hate... I hate... Oh, look, get a... Damn it, we didn't get a blind. <laughs> uh oh. I hope I'm not forced into having to use some cooldowns here. Uh, please clear that. Why? Damn it. Okay, we got the slow. Why can't we... Why can't we uh, seem to clear these positive status effects? That's a two energy cooldown. We can use that. Please, blind. Why aren't you landing that blind? His resist is like through the roof. Have no problems blinding Captain Marvel, apparently. Okay, can we try again here? There we go. Finally, we got the blind. I have a G15 Jubilee. Why isn't it blinding? Like, why did it take that long to land a blind? Alright, we're. F I think we're okay. Is Iceman back to normal? And so, just so people are aware that this mutant boss node i8 turn down service this is different than the characters are the are, are quite a bit different here than the other boss nodes in the middle lane here this one here nightmare on m street which is quite a bit harder i'm sure you guys are aware or maybe you've seen uh that the common strategy for this boss node is to use x factor the dead bros and sinister to clone this long shot for the turn bar that's also the same on uh this one here at the very end on the left hand side but here on the right hand side we have Turn down service. This one's a little bit different here. There's no doom, and uh, it's there's a hella, which means that we can take advantage of Greg. I forgot about Street Raiders actually. Uh, I can activate it after Doom Raid. <laughs> I might, maybe I won't do it. <laughs> I kind of forgot actually. 
We'll see after Doom Raid. So, oh, Greg took his turn early. That's interesting. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to lead in with my basic to try and get more of these undead as guardians killed so we can get ahead on the turn bar, which is really important. And we're going to try and land a offense down. But we want to make sure that we kind of prioritize... I should have used the special. Don't know why I didn't do that. Getting these turn bars. Killing Merc Lieutenant is important, but also getting a stun with Jubilee's ultimate on Anna Frost. Super important. Obviously, otherwise she is going to cleanse everyone. This is really important to do. That's why you need to make sure you have your cooldowns ready. And I'm going to use the Disrupt over here, mostly because I just want to kill that Greg again. And we're going to focus on killing Crystal before the others. So the reason why that is, is because if you focus on Black Bolt, then Crystal's just going to cleanse and heal a bit here. So we're going to try and stun Crystal. And we're actually going to use a special here on Emma Frost and hope that the blind spreads to everyone else. And it does, mostly. I think that's fine. And finish off Crystal here. And we'll, we'll do the ultimate over here. That's fine. A lot of damage. Big damage there on Bishop. Get another Greg dead. Crystal's dead. And then the next wave probably is going to drop here any second. I think. I think I'm really ahead on my turn bar. I think that's why. <laughs> and the Death Knives miss. We should get a drop any second. I'm surprised this... Yeah, there we go. That came really late. Okay, so... Taskmaster, try and get that offense down flipped. Zemo, we did flip the immunity, so that's good. So we can start to slow these guys over here. And again, we're still sort of taking advantage of Greg. By killing him over and over again, getting turn bar, which is what makes them so good here. We're going to try and stun... Baron Zemo, that way he can't get his passive off, doesn't go off. And we're charged, so let's actually hit over here. Hell is going to die pretty soon, but it's not really a huge deal at this point. We're kind of already pretty far ahead. But we can get some more damage on this Graviton. Thank you for the Twitch follow, Lord277. We get the next wave. Getting a blind on Ghost Rider is really important, actually, because every time somebody dies, you guys know what happens. He retaliates, and uh, as long as he's blind, I'm pretty sure it misses. I feel like I'm actually taking longer than I normally would if I wasn't talking. So I might need to speed this up. We might even be able to auto it at this point. But you do, well, maybe, <laughs> you do need to keep an eye on the debuffs. That's really important. So, yeah, they're, they're left over. We're going to focus. I do need to probably pick this up a bit. But I think we're fine. The boss nodes do have a danger of timing out because they have a lot of hit points and a lot of enemies. And sometimes this can be a bit of an issue. But, yeah, I think we're fine on auto here. So the main part really is that beginning bit, making sure that you get Emma Frost stunned when you need to with Jubilee at the beginning, and then just kind of controlling the fight, leaving Hela up as long as you possibly can, uh, take advantage of Greg deaths to get yourself ahead with the Astonishing X-Men for the speed bar, and really that's about it. This one here is quite a bit easier than the other one. The Nightmare on M Street version, which is the middle and left section, is quite a bit more challenging, and that really depends on your dad bros. Apparently, you can use Astonishing X-Men, but they need to be significantly higher in order to do that. So I, I was able to clear this with about 400, 420k, uh, but the Nightmare on M Street one, the left and middle side, these, these, this boss note here for the mutants, apparently you need closer to 600k with Astonishing X-Men to reliably clear this because of Doom and all sorts of other crap. Like, they're a lot stronger than the boss node that I just cleared. But, the better way to do that is 
with X with Dad Bros Story and Sinister to clone Longshot. The problem, of course, is that in the middle section and on the left section, you need level five ISOs. So not only do you need level five for the middle and left section, not only do you need level five ISOs for Astonishing X Men, but to do the boss node, you would also need level five on Dad Bros and Sinister at the very least. You might be able to compensate and do Dad Bros Sinister and like beast because you really you just need to get to the clone you need to survive long enough to get this long shot clone for this boss but yeah i'm doing here on the right hand side thankfully so i only need my astonishing x-man and it's at level four iso because it's at the start of the raid